They announced the new members of SNL. When are they announcing the new members of Kids Pop? <laughs> <laughs> they're in a. Re- I know they're in a rebuilding period right now. Oh, sh- Michael Longfellow's on both. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, Devin Walker got lead on Kids Pop. Damn. We both know the new <laughs> cast members of SNL. I am not working hard enough. <laughs> Grimace is his hungry. <laughs> Damn uh, Grimace Catholicism thing. <laughs> Folks, Grimace, <laughs> we're starting it off with a big thing today. Grimace emailed me earlier. He said he wanted us all to enjoy a moment of violence. <laughs> so, um, I guess you hop up here <laughs> and we'll wail on your legs for a little bit. Then I'll lay like that. And then you guys can put sushi on my torso. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. We're already in a Mexican standoff. <laughs> What's up? Hell Dylan yeah. came prepared. So good. Uh, Dylan, we brought you some gifts. Really? Yeah. No. All right. Is that what's in the case? Yep. Oh, sh- So we know <laughs> kind of, you know, we know the stuff that, like, we've been monitoring your vlog. Sure. And, <laughs> We got you a couple little things. So this is a playing card with horses on it, and it's king. So you're the king. You're our king, Uh, especially this week. You're the biggest king. You pass that along to him. Horse baton. Horse baton. (laughs) Like the little rascal. It's like a pail, but it's a horse card instead. And then, of course, who could forget Ricky the Steamboat Dragon, a little pen. (laughs) Oh, what is that? <laughs> He's a professional wrestler. Oh, right. Oh, okay. my God. That's yes. amazing. Yeah. yeah. And who could forget? Could and, 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 and especially <laughs> this, this time of year. Oh, wow. It's one of his favorites. This is awesome. And uh, then we got you something that's a little dangerous. You probably don't want to play with this, um, like unless your parents are home. So this one's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, <laughs> you got me a drink mixie? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely broken. Gard- <laughs> Gardiglin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh, what a gongly. <laughs> Barbilman. <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty cool and it shakes up. I feel like it could also be used to shake up blood clots. Like, because my arms, I'm feeling a little faint just from I holding it. I could use that. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe run it across your thighs every night. Yeah. yeah. Clear oh. them up. Nice. Don't get it too wow. close to your damn hole, though. Give you a bunch of pleasure. I know. Yeah. I was going to say you could also Watch use out. it uh, sexually. Cat, so. pass the pleasure stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. Thank yeah. you all so much. Yeah. Oh, no problem. <laughs> You're welcome. Barboogus. Barboogus. And then JJ, hit the intro. Uh, <laughs> And then also, third and final gift, but it's one more than that. It's the fourth gift. It's uh, just a little dog treat thing. Oh, yeah. For a puppy Actually, bag. What, it, what it is is a, it's a dog bag dispenser that doesn't have any dog bags in it. Oh, so nice. I figured you could use that. Poop mouth. Poop mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Arc, arc. Oh, nice. Shit mouth Sullivan. That's, I, I feel like no, it's, a we little, love it. <laughs> it's a little gift holder for all my goods. Oh, wow. What a creative. Is that a bag of oatmeal? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> My vision is very bad. I just gave you that thing. <laughs> the gifts of the Orient. New Simbre gives Cool. I feel like you could attach something to the end of that and prank people. You know, oh, like, yeah, like, like a, a little, spider. Like a little, yeah, yeah, like a, a shard of glass or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pranked all the way to heaven. I'm going to dip this in acid rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you all so man. much. This is yeah, nice. no problem. No problem. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that the, some of the best pranks are murders. And, and <laughs> yeah. That's the type of prank that keeps on pranking for I mean, gener- for generations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you ever just been in a horrific car accident? So cool. Hilarious. <laughs> prank to the max. Have fun in the wheelchair. Just kidding, guys. It was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hope you enjoyed your legs. This is starting great. This is good. So good. So Dylan, we're just going to jump right into it, sure. man. There's a lot of Grimace stuff going on right now. Got a lot of ground to cover. I don't know if you've been getting these these damn updates on your phone, but Grimace recently did the halftime show at Game 2 of the WNBA Finals. Um, so I don't know if you've seen this clip. It's on GoPuff. Um, <laughs> you have to order it on GoPuff and they bring you a hard copy so that you don't share it. They sit there and they watch you watch it and they go, you good? Okay. And then they take it back. It's like an hour to rent or so. It's like $10 an hour or something. But <laughs> it's exp- it adds up. So you just want to do that one hour. But so, yeah. So Grimace shows up. The lights go down. They go, ladies and gentlemen, from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, Grim Dallion, Stallion. And they wheel him out like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the fucking, he's got the spooky mask. Blur, fucking big scare. They wheel him out to the middle, right? So the whole crowd's going silent, right? They're going, what the fuck is this Joker about to do, right? Then boom, they hit it. They start playing that unreleased Wu Tang album that Martin Shkreli bought. <laughs> Oh. So, Have you heard this, Dylan? The anthem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the unheard anthem, baby. And the whole crowd is just fucking like doing that. It's a lot of white people, so it's kind of lame. Like, yeah. <laughs> like doing shit like that. And then, uh, so everybody fucking, you know, they're getting excited. They're getting excited and they go, all right, all right, let him loose. They cut his, he's tied with rope. They cut it, they cut him loose. Fuck it. I don't know if you've seen the clip. Grimace just bolts, dude. He's fucking gone, bro. Oh, he was faking it. Yeah, he just ran. Yeah. He was supposed to do something, but they cut him loose, and he fucking bloop, fucking run for the exit. And then there's these two security guards, right, brave enough to stop him. There's a security camera. You can see this Jesus. on the GoPro video. <laughs> they come up to him. They go. They're trying to coax him, right? He's basically a wild animal. Yeah. They they. They got a hand out, right? Just a pat of butter, right in the middle of the hand. Oh yeah. You want you want some grit? <laughs> he goes for it, doesn't he? Work every time. Yeah. Work every damn time. And girl go, okay. Worked in the past. He he microdose it like a damn <laughs> fucking. She. <laughs> Grimace does that and the crowd kind of giggles like okay like that's funny yeah like yeah, grimbles yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a griggle, grimbler grambler and uh, that hurt my mouth to say for some reason <laughs> Griglin, <laughs> Griglin, Griglin. Uh, um, so Grimace come back to the center right he got the butter and he oil himself up right <laughs> and he just starts sliding around like a one man damn surfboard and then he bump his knee <clears throat> He bumped his knee. It's kind of a long video, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically having to describe like a 15 minute clip. <laughs> yeah, the play by play is like 45 minutes long. <laughs> there's there's subtitles on the video if you watch it, but he bumped his knee, make him pissed, and he started looking around, way to take out his aggression. He see the point guard of the Connecticut Sun, bang her knee like Tanya Harding, put on her jersey, fucking score a triple double, won the whole damn game. Damn. Talk about a hero story. Yeah. <laughs> a I real know. underdog. Yeah. Rags to riches. <laughs> now, yeah. um, I had heard that, well, I mean, it, we all heard in the yeah. news. It's been on the front page of the AP magazine. That uh, uh, Grimace, uh, you guys know about the bodies on Mount Everest, you know? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he took one of the bodies. He went up there. He hiked up there, took a selfie, you know, with the Russian flag oh. and his home country. In this climate. <laughs> oh. So cringe. So That's cringe. so cringe. Yeah. It's a, oh, what's that fucking so uh, grim. Jake Ryan? <laughs> so grimch, dude. <laughs> so grinch. The grimch he stole Christmas, dude. Damn, man. Why'd he steal the body? Well, yeah, so the, the the Sherpas uh, down there in the Himalayas, they have a hard time getting the bodies off of Mount Everest because there's so many of them. Right. And it's like really expensive and like and like hard work to bring a body down from like the tallest mountain in the world, right. as you could imagine. It's very difficult mm-hmm. work. People go to study for years. So you got to go to college and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> no, but it really it really is a tragedy. But um, so... 
you know, he's like, oh, I'm going to help you guys out. I'll bring a body down with me because, you know, he's fucking ripped. He's like, yeah, I've been preparing for this for years. And so, but they, what they don't know is that he's actually taking a body to use for a seance. No. To conjure aliens to the mountain. So... I know. It didn't work out for him last time. <laughs> I don't know why he's trying to. <laughs> well, you know, they say second time's a charm. So <laughs> Beating he... a dead horse, beating a king of horses. <laughs> <laughs> it actually was just a dead horse. There's horses up there, too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's more horses than people. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a horse at the top of Everest. Like, <laughs> yeah, you used to have to. <laughs> <Stuck up. laughs> yeah. In so many. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun to sing fake Catholic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mordiba Spardu Glen. Hell yeah. Once they what started. Was that? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that song. It's called the Bardugans. <laughs> yeah, what's that song? The Bardugans Girls. I love. I used to listen to that as a <laughs> yeah. kid. Yeah. Pull it up on Shazam. <laughs> Sour milk, um, dark milk stain. Um, <laughs> when they first let horses go up Everest, because it wasn't desegregated until like. For horses and mankind is what I meant. We're segregated? No, I'm talking oh, about Everest, dude. Oh, Come yeah. On. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't make it racist when it's about horse. <laughs> Cut it. Now it looks cringe. Let's go back to the beginning where, where I said we're going to take a moment of violence. Yeah. It's rewind time. So Grimace recently was at a WNBA halftime show. Did we already this? do this one? No, we're starting over. <laughs> we're seem, starting the whole podcast i seem racist to... so we have to make it seem natural so <laughs> no right. they didn't let horses up there i think until like 1999 and then all these horses have been waiting for big plant there's a lot of plant up there like three or four and they're cold it's on like mount a everest yeah it's like a slushy they're buried in time for yeah. y2k just in time just in time before the damn computers <laughs> yeah. go night night well you know if you freeze plants they stay good for years yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I froze a cactus last year. <laughs> it's, <doing great. laughs> it's in my freezer. <laughs> Can't wait to break that out. Yeah. <laughs> Old cactus pie. The Thanksgiving special. Yum. Yeah, and he, yeah, all these horses started going up one by one, and they all died. They could they have no sense of direction. You were telling me this. Don't act like I'm, <laughs> don't act like I'm crazy. You told me this. So, well, Jesus. I kind of got lost. Um, Much like the horses did. The yeah. King of horses. Well, yeah. they didn't get lost. They're just too big. You got to be kind of nimble and small if you're going to go up Everest. Why didn't the horses <laughs> just penguin their way down? <laughs> penguin well, their way. Down. Like yeah. slow. <laughs> like kind of on their belly. Yeah, I guess they could have just put their slid. legs flat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. basically like an airplane. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, <laughs> Dylan. Ma! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with that much fucking like body weight, they would yeah. be flying. They'd be down oh down there in ten and minutes. That's yeah. true. <laughs> and there's probably not any flies on Mount Everest. No, they're gonna, so they gotta they worry about. They it. got full vision. <laughs> Yeah, don't well, even need the blinders. Well, d yeah, I mean, it, it sounds like you know a lot about this if you want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like my experience with mountains, I don't, <laughs> there was one time there was, there's this, uh, this mountain in Southeast Asia. Yeah. And at the top of it is a cave in the mountain and uh, in the cave. Is that is K2? A, yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, it, yeah, uh, there's a, a guard of, uh, of precious emeralds in this cave, but mm. guarded is a uh, dragon. Oh, Smaug. Uh, yeah, so. Classic. Smaug. It's, it's a tale of the Mountain King, sort of a hero's journey. <laughs> he killed his uh, his father when he was five for emeralds, but <laughs> had uh -huh. a desire for more and more and more, and thirst was unquenchable at that point. So Damn. his journey up the mountain is more of a metaphorical one with himself, but in a very real one is uh, a dragon story. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if we're talking about, about horses maybe they were look <laughs> what were they looking for at the top of that mountain mm. maybe something we don't know yeah there's yeah. stuff that the government there's some redacted stuff i've heard yeah, about. yeah and the fucking way that grimace yeah. just happens to be in all of these mm -hmm. like these places where there may or may not be hidden treasures or government secrets 
Yeah. It's just like Marilyn Monroe. Lens, yeah, like, exactly. That's why she, she had too many emeralds. <laughs> yeah. Why was she on that mountain? Yeah. Why was, <laughs> yeah. Why was Marilyn Monroe on that mountain? Who told her to go there Monroe in the first place? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably one of the hey, Kennedys. Hey, hey, Monroe, horse your way down. Quick. Good. <laughs> 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 they threaten her with a damn buzzer, dude. Fucking... <laughs> so as many of you know it's infidelity fall it's slutty season grimace is ready to get cuffed up right Mm -hmm. he's ready to get cuffed up he's ready to get fingered he's ready to do some fucking native american leg locks yeah hang out with the boys eat a whole bottle of parmesan cheese so this is i recently discovered this Buried doc. Ooh, this little ooh, this little buried document that the, the government's trying to hide for like six months. And so this is Grimace's top five romantic vacation getaways. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Number one, the Sepsis Research Institute. So <laughs> if you know anything about Grimace, he loves sort of like really bad infections that can make you very sick and you probably won't recover from. And sepsis has got to be near the top of that list. Yeah. So during this date, you can just kind of hang out in the hallways, kind of shadow the doctors, um, maybe pinch the security guard right in his little nerve. Night, night. You get the free range of the place. Hopefully they get a little cafeteria down there, get some mochaccino. And <laughs> um, if anybody's really sick, you can go in there and pray with them. So that'd be awesome. <laughs> Um, well, Germus is a devout Catholic, he is. as we've established. <laughs> Barding, <laughs> Bardugus. Number two, the Cave of Screams. So this is awesome. This is this uh, kind of quaint little cave at the bottom of the Mammoth Cave system that goes underneath Kentucky. Grimace knows all these cool passageways. One even has a really old piano, and <laughs> you can play it. And the keys are detachable. You can take one key per trip, and you can go down there. And there's like a hundred damned souls that have no way of getting out, and they scream night and day. Oh my no God, one can hear them. Horrifying. No, it's dark, it, and you can't see a thing. You can just hear their they want to get out so bad number three <laughs> pretending to be a painting and following people with your eyes when they cross the room <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a great one so basically you sneak into the haunted mansion at disney world or prim- i mean ideally like an actual haunted like bly manor would be tight mm. or hill house is haunted as hell notoriously haunted my bathtub <laughs> your bathtub we had to sage and uh, you <laughs> kept damn poop in the tub, and you thought, yeah, it, we won't talk about it, but yeah, I don't, you thought okay. you were haunted. I think it was a diet thing. He thought it was haunted, <laughs> and so you sneak in, and you know, just let it sound, and you're painting pretty badass. Number five, number four, the La Brea tar pits. Oh, you know this <laughs> one, my man. Ones. Grimace <laughs> loved that. So you get this little boogie board, and you jump, and he always goes. Which means you go first. I'm too nervous. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> right. So he, he, he goes, Garbigal doop, which means first one in has to stay. Um, so um, you jump right on your chest and you are fucked. You're stuck. And he don't get you out. You are there now. <laughs> he said it for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to stay. And he might bring you a couple crackers, but eventually he's going to get bored of it. So oh, nice. You're not getting out of air. <laughs> So exciting. And number five, the Korean War Memorial at Arlington Cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are just getting better <laughs> around the world. And this one's for my boys. This is a boys only trip. And so get four or five of your best friends and pay your respects. <laughs> so, so cool. Whew, I'm excited just thinking about it. I'm hoping to go on a, to, on November 1st, uh, All Souls Day. So that'd be cool. cool. Wow. Well, if you had to date Grimace on one of those, what would be your favorite? Uh, my favorite of all those, what were the first three? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think the sepsis one would be cool. I mean, blood diseases are interesting, you know. Mm. It's really, mm. um, they're all the rage. Yeah, I mean, it really makes you grateful for what you have because it could be gone so, <laughs> so quickly and violently. So it's a sentimental trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Not a lot of laughter when you go to the Sepsis <laughs> Research Institute. I think you go to the Sepsis Museum. Where they <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. Just have vials of infected blood. Uh, the Crypt Keeper works the door, I think. Yeah. 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 What was your favorite? It sounded like maybe the tar, tar pit. pit. Tar pit. Tar pit. Yes. Tar pit. Have you been to the La Brea tar pit? Oh, yeah. It was one of the first places I went. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when you were As born? A baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you see, like, born all in the, the hospital. Picture, you see all the pictures of there. When you go there and all the animals are like... And they can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're tar. <laughs> It's, a little, it's like plant and animal. <laughs> and tar. tar, baby. Yeah, it's a servo. Oh, there's lots there. of plants there? Oh, yeah. Well, the plant turns into the tar sludge. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So it's just ghosts of plant pests. Yeah, and when Grimace is there. <laughs> oh, wow. What a trip. <laughs> so now, was Grimace, was Grimace your nurse when you were born? My nurse was someone a little more sinister. <laughs> Something a little more unspeakable. What was their name? His name was <laughs> the Hamburglar. Oh, uh, Casey has a similar story. La Hamburguesa. Yeah. Damn. Pulled pulled me out <laughs> like one of those arms first burgers in the bank. <laughs> like burgers in the bank way pulled me out. Quickly, <laughs> burgers in the bank. Burgers in the bank. I think yeah. WWE is doing a match like that at the upcoming <laughs> WrestleMania. A burgers in the bank match. Burgers in the bank. Burgers in the bank. Burgers in the bank. What you think about burgers in the bank? Wrestle. Wrestle. And go. And go. Is the Hamburglar a wrestler or uh, just a fictional? He's more of a Hamburglar. <laughs> 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 But I'm sure he does wrestle. He's a complicated man. Some of his motivations are warranted. Some of them aren't. Uh, he's, he's Do you have terrible. a rough childhood? or? No, I mean, I learned a lot from the man. He's uh, peculiar. I'd say a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of stories I won't say on the podcast for legal reasons. But he uh, definitely, he definitely has a motivation for burgers. <laughs> He's a burger driven. I mean, hey, yeah. who can't get behind that? A little burger and Clyde action. <laughs> <laughs> Driving off a cliff with a trunk full of burgers and a bad wish. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a freaking. A complicated guy. <laughs> Eccentric for sure. I, I'm so happy you seem to be enjoying your gift. So I love it. I'm gonna mix everything. <laughs> I'm gonna, can you imagine getting this in some hair? <laughs> <laughs> be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. You bring it you bring it to the tar pit, you fill up fill fill up Philip. Philip <laughs> Tar <laughs> You catch me by the tar pit. <laughs> Where the bones from? Just Dylan just playing around in the muck, dude. Fucking yeah. dog bone. Just throwing your toys like it's a bath, like yeah. they're rubber duckies. It all just becomes like, tar eventually. Sure, yeah. Well, we all do. We all yeah, do. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, you know what they say. Once a tar, keep it at far. Yeah. Born, you're born a man. You know what they say, you're, you're born a man, you die a tar, and they leave your bones for the buzzards, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Casey lately has been waking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Casey's been doing this thing where he'll wake up. Well, I'll wake him up. But he will wake up, and he'll just say something, like, kind of sweet to me, and then he'll be like, and leave the bones for the buzzards. <laughs> it's just kind of like my new catchphrase. Like race. every morning, he's like, I leave the bones for the buzzards. Girl, this town's going to eat yeah. you alive. <laughs> and they're going to leave your bones for the buzzards. Yeah. And then is it like... <laughs> you guys like have sex after that? Oh, I thought you were talking about was doing Yeah, anything. I did too. I thought oh, it was like, shit, sorry. like a little blow. Both could happen though. Yeah. yeah. No, we're waiting for... Um, Marriage. Yeah. We're wait well, we're mostly waiting until I get a little older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Casey. Don't bring it there. No, I'm saying like yeah. 
I'm 20, I'm 27. I'm saying like 31 would be a good age to get intimate. So, <laughs> good. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's 420. Yeah, grab a big bone. You already got one, brother. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Make smoke come out of his mouth, JJ. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> We're having fun so far. Why did you have to say that? I don't know. <laughs> I know, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> it won't go downhill from here. We're already having so much fun. <laughs> How much does uh, Grimace play a role in your guys' relationship? Well, I think, uh, I yeah. think it would be fair to say... Without Grimace, we have no relationship. So yeah, it's kind of predicated entirely upon Grimace's existence. Once he dies, this dies. Yeah, so. Mm. Damn. <laughs> so on one yeah. way, Grimace can be a menace, but on the other hand, it's also a Dennis. vehicle for love. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was, he'll was. he be our officiator, so. <laughs> that, uh-huh. That's very nice. That's what you call it, right? Mm-hmm. Or the, the eulogizer. Yeah. The Googleizer. The Googleizer. From, from Zoolander. Yeah. <laughs> that joke, I, any jokes that are over 10 years old, I think you can just have. So that's <laughs> ours now. I think the statute of limitations is up. And and on that note, remember in the Sandlot when they're in the, the ad, the, not the attic. <laughs> remember when they're in the Sandlot and they're all hiding in the attic from the Nazis? Um, in the Sandlot where they're in the treehouse and they're eating s'mores. Remember this? Yeah, yeah. And then he goes, you want a s'more? And he goes, how can I have some more if I never had one to begin, to begin with? <laughs> I, that's my joke now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my good. joke. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I wrote it. I had an old man call me and tell me he would give me jokes. He said, he left me a voicemail. He said, hey, if you want some jokes, I have, th- I have some. So if you want to call me back, this is for real. Really? Yeah. It was my, my what gra- is this? Who is this man? <laughs> is what? this Mr. Wayne? Was it, it was Mr. Wayne. Yeah. Wayne. He left me a voicemail. He said, Guy Bird, I got some good jokes for you. I know you're doing a competition this week, and I have some for you if you want to take him to the competition. Do you remember any of the jokes? I didn't call him back. So. Can you? Can you? <laughs> do you have the voicemail? Yeah, I do. The <laughs> I do yeah. have it. Oh, God, this poor man. Well, come on. <laughs> we need to see this old man. This is the craziest call you probably ever got. This is in Beaumont. Uh, husband, I heard about your uh, your competition that you were in, and I had some jokes. I wondered if you need any jokes. I, I would give them to you. They're old, but they're funny. Uh, if you need some some new Father, give me a call. Thank you. That's so sweet. Wow. It's so sweet. I know. I know. <laughs> That's not I know. funny at all. That's I the should, sweetest I thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I should have called him back. I feel kind yeah, of bad. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this old bag of shit. <laughs> 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 it? it actually is incredibly sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's in stark contrast to the type of voicemails that Grimace leaves me, which is just heavy heavy breathing and just smush noises. It's not like he's stepping on crickets. Wow, sad, sad, yeah. sad. Well, that did make me pretty sad because I feel like I should have called him back, and yeah. now I feel like it's too late because the competition's over. You you should just say that. The competition's next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could just lie. <laughs> he won't know. No, he won't. I wonder what his old jokes are. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, should we call him? No. It's so funny when old people try to like, you know, you're at some family function and everybody's all drunk and the your second uncle walks up. You're like, I got to fucking, I heard you do comedy, you know, and the jokes they say what do you call Fruit Loop in a windstorm? You know, like the jokes <laughs> yeah. are like, where did you hear this shit? And then it's always racist. Yeah, it'll be like some racist yeah. ending. You're like, oh no, I can't do that at FBI. And then you're like, like, no, that's the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Simidi Bipi Songre. In Excelsior's Grace. Right? Don't they say that in church? In Excelsior. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hallelujah. 
<laughs> She's gorgeous. Um, so Grimace recently bought Kid Rock's music catalog. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> taking it on tour, taking it on tour. So a fun thing that he's doing, you know how Kid Rock, when he walks on stage and he wears that giant um, fur coat? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Goes, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kid. Um, <laughs> and then he literally starts a riot. Yes, he does stuff like that. That ends in fires and tragedy. Yeah. Sorry. So No, you're good. That did happen. And we <laughs> I'm should sorry. need to acknowledge it. We talked about that, I think, last episode. Yeah. Grimace went to Woodstock 99. Um, like three episodes ago, yeah. No, it was literally the last one. Um, so, <laughs> on the YouTube. And uh, yes, it will be. Never mind. You were right, and I'm wrong. And then <laughs> you finish the Kid Rock riff, then. If, if you know all the episodes, then you do that. It's nice being here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Fucking holy shit. Dylan, Don't give us a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to be friends with like you guys Mom and this. dad are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to play with my... <laughs> <laughs> Play with your stuff. I'm just in the corner. <laughs> this is one thing that can't hurt me. <laughs> yeah. I can have something to focus on that isn't this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get divorced before all my friends' parents. Um, what happened with, with Rockstar after the, the rights went away? So what he does... Is he in, lost his right. <laughs> yeah. He lost his right to rock. <laughs> Casey, Casey hated it. No, I liked it. Uh, what he does <laughs> is uh, instead of wearing that big, you know, nice fur coat, he makes everybody in the audience, first of all, attendance is mandatory. So if he is in your city, you have to go. And he makes everybody wear the fur jacket, no matter whether. So if it's summer, you probably just r try to get a Greyhound or something. Like try to get out of town quick because you will overheat. <laughs> And he super glue it on to your skin. So even if you get out of there, like it's gonna take a while to like wash it off in a bath. It's horrifying. Yeah, but it happened and it's on CBX. Damn. <laughs> it's on That's CBX a, News. That was it? CBX. Yeah, it's called improv, baby. I didn't have anything <laughs> written. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite kid rock song? Oh, it's gotta be uh, Jamblin. Jamblin. Uh, My favorite. The Jamblin, Jamblin and the yeah. Bamblin. I'm a Jamblin. We're jambling for you, jambling for me, jambling for us. <laughs> jamble here, jamble there, jamble in your car, jamble for hair. I'm Kid Rock. <laughs> You're <laughs> Kid Rock. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Kid Rock today. Yeah. Hey. The Kids Bob oh. version was uh, equally good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. <laughs> this is a good interpretation yeah. by Kevin and Sarah. Well, <laughs> I love Kevin. Kevin's so good. Yeah. He's the best new new cast member of Kid Rock. He's wise, but yeah, they recently <laughs> announced. I mean, kids Bob. I said Kid. Bob. They announced the new members of SNL. When are they announcing the new members of Kids Bob? Dude? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're in a. Re I know they're in a rebuilding period right now. Oh <laughs> shit! Michael Longfellow's on both. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. Oh, Devin Walker got lead on Kids Pop. <laughs> Damn. We both know the cast members of I am not working hard enough. <laughs> that's, that's what those posts tell me. Dude. Well, what was your uh, favorite uh, Kids Bop interpretations? Um, mine is probably, um, oh, um, that uh, Lizzo song. What's the Lizzo song? Oh, cheeseburger. Me. Cheeseburger in paradise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cheeseburger. <laughs> Cheeseburger in paradise. Keep it warm <laughs> for me. Yeah. 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 That. Eat that cheeseburger warm. <laughs> cheeseburger <laughs> in paradise. Put it on the dashboard. <laughs> Keep it warm for me. <laughs> Only hot bitches put cheeseburgers on the dashboard. <laughs> Does a cheeseburger ever go bad if you always keep it warm? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a great song. 
<laughs> How about you, Case? <laughs> I love Lizzo. I love her title. I love her song. There's so many germs in here. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Too many germs in this room. I can see the germs. Nobody believes me. <laughs> That's a good one. Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> yeah, she won the Mark Twain Prize for that. <laughs> so wild. I thought she won a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Um, you cut that. Um, <laughs> my, Dylan, what's yours? My fi- oh, probably Jambles, Kid Rock. Okay. <laughs> Casey. You already said Jambles. <laughs> you did? Oh, that was your favorite Kid Rock song, but what's your favorite Kid's Bop song? <laughs> Casey. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to push through the cataracts. <laughs> 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 Just horsing around. No, pro- probably jambles. This is my boat. <laughs> they do jambles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about you, Case? Oh, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, <laughs> mine is probably uh, "Is God Dead" by Black Sabbath. So they do this really great version of that <laughs> acoustic. It's awesome. <laughs> How does it go? As the skies are turning red, is God dead? So it's like these little <laughs> witchy kind of kids. Like, I don't know where they Wh- Which kids. kids frontiered that one? That was Jonathan. That was the amazing Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was little Tyler and um, <laughs> Moo Moo Jake was there, I think. Moo Moo Jake and the fish If he squad. could just get past the drugs, <laughs> Moo Moo Jake would be one of the best. <laughs> He's a generational talent. Yeah. yeah. Mumu Jake is the stinky snake. I, yeah, he's the coolest. I really loved when they covered that CCR song. That was so cool. <laughs> Run Through the Jungle. Yeah. About Vietnam. Uh, I planned the best at Grimby Around the Horn. We will give you options. Okay. So what were the ones that you, what were the options that you wrote? So here's the one I, I have. the one you're going to want to go with. And I was pretty excited about it. Grimace joins the suicide scru- squads. Scrod. The scrod. The scrod. scrod. Suicide scrod. The scrod. <laughs> the suicide scrod. The scrod. Um, we could just do that. Or what, do you, what are yours? You, I mean, I had, you know, Grimace has an intervention. I like that. Grimace goes to dump his mom's ashes at Disney World and tragedy ensues. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Turns out I'm allergic to plantains. So <laughs> <laughs> that's just a bit. That's just a bit that you're working on. That's a stand up bit. So <laughs> Yeah. Fucked up part is I don't even have a dad. Who was that man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys ever go to restaurants and get extra ranch? <laughs> I did. see a I hit my kid and he was black. <laughs> I like the, the I, I I would if I got a choice I got to go Scooz Guys Quad. <laughs> this is pretty. We all knew it was gonna go there. Scoozy. Uh, uh, also, with plantains. <laughs> okay, so grimace around the horn is where we tell a story piece by piece. Little by little by little until it comes to a conclusion. And normally at the conclusion, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a lot of people normally pass away. All right. <laughs> Punyang, North Korea. <laughs> Fucking big old B-52 bomber is flying overhead. Who's who's flying it? Damn B-52s. Love Shack, baby. On <laughs> midair, dude. The car was as big as a whale. <laughs> Fucking guys. <laughs> he's, he's driving the B-52's plane. And it's not very covert. It's like their tour plane. So it says the B-52's. I don't know how the fuck they work this out. Grimace is sitting there with his fucking, he's got a Dr. Dre's on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's fucking, don't, don't, no, 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 no. Getting into it. He heard the sounds of merriment. He's much like the Grendel from Beowulf. When he heard the sounds of merriment, it fucking vibrate his eardrum. He throw the headphone off. And the you know B fifty two is all about having a good time, sure. like in a shack, in a big as cars, big as a whale, fuck it, anywhere. Grimace walk up, <laughs> slow dude, and there Cindy is. She's my favorite. She's a cute one, and fuck, and there and then the girl with the big red hair is there too, and then the old member who died of AIDS. I know a lot about the B fifty two. Yeah, so good. seems that way. <laughs> I like. Seems them, like man. I'm gonna be lost if I don't know all the lore about the B fifty two. They're actually a pretty good band. So they're actually more punk rock than you might think. 
and they got snubbed from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Anyways, they're fucking having a group sing this like, oh my god, this is so much fun. It's Grimace. It's fucking, it's <laughs> Slimy Rick. It's fucking uh, it's the the dal it's the dalliant one, it's uh turkey plate turkey plate Roger is there and he's got these two plates spinning on his fingers. These are like the worst members. Oh, turkey plate Roger. Turkey plate Roger. Yeah. He's badass. He's got two torsos, so it's like <laughs> one is where his face should be, so he can't see shit. So it's fucked up. But hey, man, he got turkey plate. That's badass. The rat girl for the movies there, Margot Robbie is there, but she is dressed as a mechanic for some reason. So that's pretty cool. She covered in oil. Mm -hmm. Grimace walk up. You see they're having fun. Bonk head. Bye-bye. Dead. Grimace take the plane. Start gunning it down. <laughs> just towards the ground. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> just a fucking dead spiral, dude. Eyes wide shut. Stanley Kubris, dude. Fucking ready for <laughs> murder. <laughs> fucking, re fucking ready for murder, dude. It's going to be so big when it happens and no one's going to want it to be. Fucking taxi going through Ponyang. Man on his phone checking stock price in North Korea. One stock, all the way up. <laughs> He's, he hear a rumbling. He look up. Everybody slowly look up in the sky. Big burning torpedo of plane happen. Last minute, Grimace turnover, kiss Margot Robbie on the lips consensually. They've been having a relationship for over eight months. Okay. <laughs> Fucking punch out window, parachute. Everybody else stuck in play. Grimace put his stray headphones on, float to the ground, and then what happened next? And then um, Grimace finally gets down to King Kim Jong Un's <laughs> <laughs> castle, the Love Shack. As we all know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my man. <laughs> and, uh, he and Kim go way back. They're, you know, it's like, um, that, um, yeah, that guy from the NBA that went to North Korea. Dennis. Dennis Rodman, uh, is there. Dennis Rodman is there with Kim. It's Kim, Grimm, and Den. And, <laughs> <laughs> You tell me it's Crim Grim Dam. <laughs> Crim de la Grim, baby. <laughs> it's Jamblin. <laughs> Jamblin, Grim, Kim, Den. The whole gang is is there. And uh, so Jim is there. Who's Jim? He could be there too. I thought I said Kim. Jim could be there. Kim, Kim, Jim, Jim. Jim is a member of the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Kim, Jim, Jam. Grim Den. So they're all there, and Kim is having a dinner party, and the Queen of England is not there because she's dead. And um, but she was supposed to be there. That was actually going to be her last um, meal. They execute her. <laughs> she's gonna have her last meal at kim jong-un's love shack and uh <laughs> and um yeah then um then grimace is <laughs> delighted to see turkey plate roger walk in the door with the two big turkeys <laughs> you know you know famous korean thanksgiving and um <laughs> and he brings the turkeys in and everyone starts cheering kim J jim jam grim Ken. and um <laughs> dennis rodman uh then decides that he's gonna he's gonna punch grimace because oh, because he was in love with margot robbie and they oh. had a previous relate you know they were married for a while um and then you know they had a kid together that died and so it was God. like this <laughs> 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 it's just kind of <laughs> <laughs> just a classic jamblin situation so right. so dennis walks up to grimace and grimace sees him coming from across the table and grimace still has his parachute on and he figures out how to parachute back up into the air he turns on like the turbo jets for the parachute reverse parachute yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, very top secret but <laughs> they malfunction and then gas starts spilling everywhere. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <On> Thanksgiving. 
<laughs> and and then what happens? <laughs> Gas fills the room. Everyone's coughing. B fifty twos don't even have enough time to find their rock lobsters. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> but then hope, right? Jambles out the window. <laughs> air comes in, clears it out. But just when they think they're safe, Navy SWAT Team Six Five comes swinging in, oh, no. <laughs> feet first. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> a uh, Thanksgiving nightmare in Korea, <laughs> North Korea. Um, so everyone's disarray. Uh, yeah, yeah, sw- sw- swindling about, <laughs> and then they're like, "Hey." Navy SEAL 6 guy goes up to Grimace first and says, hey, we're looking for you, not the rest of them. And Grimace, I don't know how Grimace talks. <laughs> and they're all confused. And in the confusion, Grimace... He's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in his little Grimace pouch. <laughs> It's a nightmare because he's not even choosing favorites on who he, sh- <laughs> he kills. He's killing enemies. He's killing friends. <laughs> it's a Thanksgiving spectacular. But then, out of out of out of all the chaos, Margaret Robbie stands up and says, "Hey guys, let's stop. Let's stop this. We've got two turkeys from Turkey Guy." <laughs> <laughs> Turkey plate Roger. Yeah. Turkey plate Roger. <laughs> Turkey plate Roger. <laughs> and so let's have some turkeys about this. But just w- when they're slicing up the turkey, this happens. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah, you remember what happened. <sighs> as soon as he starts cutting it, fucking shark pedo comes out from the sewers and no! he's so <laughs> shark pedo no! and shark pedo and he's wearing his butler's vest and it's oh, oh man oh, and he's got his santa's hat on so shark pedo walk in <laughs> <laughs> he got a dumbbell in one hand and a drumstick in the other dude not a chicken leg Fucking, he got it from Taylor Hawkins of the Foo Fighters. Rest in, <laughs> rest in power, King. <laughs> fucking Sharpedo start doing his signature roll, dude. Fucking Garduk, <laughs> but he roll really slow. He's very top heavy. He a great white shark. Mm-hmm. So he kind of just roll once, and he oh, it seems to have hurt his spine or something. Mm-hmm. Grimace walk over, smash tail. Sharpedo stuck, dude. His biggest power is now gone for good. <laughs> Kim Jong-un had been taking a fucking nap, dude. He heard all them gut shot make him sleepy. So he <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's sleeping. The Korean lullaby. <laughs> the yeah. North Korean lullaby. We call that the old North Korea nightlight, dude. He fucking, he's sleeping on one of those psychiatrist beds. Like when you're talking to a shrink, just a fact that I heard. He, he <laughs> I know up. what that is. Yeah, you know when they're talking to you and you're like, yes, it was traumatic when Shark Pedo broke his spine. Kim Jong-un, get up. Start Vince McMahon in there. He go, who is this in here? I'm not doing Korean voice. We don't do that on this podcast. <laughs> he fucking get in there. It's Grimace. Now he has combined with his love, Margot Robbie. She is on his shoulders. Sharpedo is at their feet, begging for his life. Yeah. Fucking turkey plate. <laughs> turkey plate Roger. <laughs> Still there. And like I mentioned earlier, he cannot see shit. He cannot leave. <laughs> so he's kind of just bumping into walls. Fucking Kim Jong-un gets so mad. Grimace walk over, fucking hit him big belly slap. Ha <laughs> ha. Not not in the tickle way. Grimace do it to Kim, don't Kim. he? You know that. <laughs> don't, he? <laughs> don't he? You better know he do that. <laughs> fucking give him big boot. Kim go, ooh, ow. Grimace get him, put him in the Monsoir's headlock. <laughs> Kiss him right on the labia, make him squirm. <laughs> make him Yuck. squirm a little bit. <laughs> Yucky. Make him squirm just a little bit for a little special dessert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little nature's treat for baby, didn't it? <laughs> 
And then fucking Dr. Octopus walk in. Dude. <laughs> Thank God there's so no many people here. <laughs> Then what happened, dude? <laughs> fucking, sea battle. Fucking Doc Ock in the house, bitch. Oh, Dr. Octopus sees... Um, <laughs> wait, Grimace had who in a headlock? Kim? <laughs> fucking Kim. He got okay. Marco Robbie on his shoulders. Shark so, is on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So um, Dr. Octopus walks in, and he sees what's going on, and he knows immediately that it is the the workings of the queen she (laughs) she has uh spoken to grimace from the grave and told him to wreak havoc on kim jong-un's thanksgiving parade and so (laughs) so turkey plate roger sees octopus and he starts throwing turkey meat at his face and Dr. Octopus is like, oh my God, like I'm vegan. Stop it. (laughs) 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 And uh, (laughs) then he takes his tentacles and he puts everyone in a headlock. And they all suffocate and die. So. Whoa. Oh, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) It's poetic. Yeah. Is Grimace alive or he's dead too? Nope. Damn, it's just Doc Ock, last man standing. (laughs) Nope, nobody, no survivors. But it's good news for um for the North Korean people. Yeah, I guess they're all dead. No, Kim Jong Un is dead, so now they can have freedom. Whoa, that's not how that works. But okay, Dylan, do you have any final thoughts? It's been a crazy day. <laughs> Speechless. I don't know, God. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> give, give an epilogue and set up part two. <laughs> uh, part two, yeah. We find out the uh, South Koreans find a time machine, try to undo the battle. <laughs> <laughs> and who's at the helm? Grimace and an eye patch. Oh. <laughs> To be continued. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much for coming, Dylan. Do you have anything fun coming up? Do you want to plug anything? Nah. Cool. (laughs) Cool. We love that. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming. That was fun. I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, we'll figure it out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks, Um, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you. Happy Grimby. Bye.